Hello guys and welcome to the next random pack opening. Um, as you can see today is a little bit special because we only um, open original packs, so no reprints for today. Um, we have one Dark Crisis, one Legacy of Darkness, one Labyrinth of Nightmare, one Magic Ruler and one Metal Raiders. Um, I guess we're just gonna go straight ahead and start with the newest one and go backwards. So let's go with the uh, Dark Crisis pack. I'm gonna try to open these carefully because I want to preserve the uh, packs themselves. So let's see what we can get. Starting out with the contract with Exodia. Then we have Dark Scorption, Minea the Thorn, Arsenal Robber, Dark Scorption, uh, Gork the Strong. And oh, that is cool! Wow. Starting out with an Ultra Rare, Skull Archfiend of Lightning. That's one of my um, favorite ultra, uh, ultra Rare cards from Dark Crisis. He has a uh, really, really cool artwork. And uh, Dark Crisis doesn't have a lot of cool cards. At least for me. I mean, it's an uh, Archfiend. It wasn't really played a lot, but that's a really cool card. So, starting out with an absolutely amazing pull. Right, for the rest of the pack, we have Rod of Silence Kiest, Arsenal Summoner, Battle Footballer, and Precious Cards from Beyond. So, let's go with Legacy of Darkness next. I really like. Uh, the Legacy of Darkness set, and I really hope we can pull like um, Yada Garasu or any of the spirit monsters would be pretty cool. But I mean, we did just pull a pretty cool card. So we have uh, Smoke Grenade of the Thief, Skull Knight number two, Dragon's Rage, Ryu Kishin Clown, the A Forces. I like playing this card in uh, Warrior decks. Um, for each warrior you have on the field, uh, each warrior gets 200 attacks, so you can boost uh, yourself quite a bit with that if you play it, for example, in combination with Command Knight. Um, Dragon Manipulator, Life Absorbing Machine, Gradius Option, and the Illusory Gentleman. Alright, nothing for that pack. Let's go to Labyrinth of Nightmare. The uh, Portrait Secret, The Dark Door, Dream Sprite, Grave Robber's Retribution, Spirit of the Breeze, Fairy Box, The Earl of Demise, Soul of Purity and Light, and Deal of Phantom. Fairy Box was a fairly decent card back in the day. Like, you had to rely on luck, but the cost you had to pay during your standby phase to keep it on the field was um, not very high and if you actually were lucky enough to uh, um, guess the uh, um, coin flip right then the enemy monster gets zero attack when he attacks so um, it always destroys the enemy monster and you um, deal a lot of damage when he attacked your attack monster. We have Chorus of Sanctuary, Mechanical Snail, we have the Slot Machine, Guardian of the Throne Room and another foil with Banisher of the Light. Yeah, don't have much to say about that card. Um, I played him back in the day in my XYZ um, deck where I played a lot of the Return from Different Dimension cards and banishing everything that leaves the field is pretty cool if you play um, a deck with that style. Then we have Penguin Knight, Eat Kaboon, Queen Bird and Gravekeeper's Servant. And then last, let's go for the Metal Riders pack. Let's see if we can get that Beast Skull Dragon. Still didn't pull one from any pack ever. So getting one would be pretty dope. We have Morinfen, the Unhappy Maiden, Petite Moth, used to summon the most impossible to summon monster ever, the Ultra Ultimate Great Moth or whatever it's called. Armored Lizard. And oh, that was close. It's a uh, Foil Fusion, a Twin Headed Thunder Dragon. Now, this is one of the uh, more common super rares in the set, I believe. I do have a lot of that guy, and uh, somehow I always pull that thing. So, I don't think that's a very good pull. But at least it's another foil. We're doing pretty good here. Um, only five packs and three foils, and it's all old packs. 
Again, I, I don't really, uh, I don't scale these or anything. I just take random packs from my pack stacks. And we have a uh, ground attack, Buck Broth, King of Yami Makai. And by the way, these cards are super off center. You can see the uh, top and the right border are really small, whilst the left and the bottom border are really, really big. And we have Leo Gun. And last card is Ancient Elf. Yeah, so we did pull some pretty cool cards. Um, Really happy that I got the Skull Outfit of Lightning. Well, anyways, um, that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.